Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 110, and I think, I'm not sure, because I haven't, uh, like I said, I haven't played this game before. I think this might be the last episode, because uh, we're going up against uh, the big brute, Viktor Marchenko. So... Uh, let's see if we can do this. Okay. We'll go back the way we came because remember when we were given those two missions? One was to come this way and the other one was to go this way. Yeah, we, we've, we've done that. So we have to do this way now. Uh, go back, uh, I think. Yeah. Anyway, we have that uh, yellow thing guiding us. So... Okay, let's see if we can. <laughs> if we can take him down. I'm getting really, really nervous. Uh huh. He's such a big guy. And uh, remember, his his henchmen they all had uh, Titan armor. So why shouldn't he? Whoa, Why he's got turrets! Is your faith in hypotheticals truly that strong? Apparently not. You have made the right choice, brother. Why should so many die so loudly when a far more subtle message can be sent? To achieve my mission, I only need Brown and his guests to die. And you, of course. Now show yourself! I'm right here, Victor. And you're done hurting people tonight. Mm. Yeah. Hurting. Murdering them. Wearing death is the balance of victory for men like us. And I still have one death to wear! Whoa, he has a blaster! Jeez! Can we get one too? I want that blaster! I thought you would be man enough to face me! <laughs> Are you still here? Wow. A pain in my side for far too long. Trying Should to be stop a lot of really timing. Of this, but you do not see the But he's got two drones. This Perhaps in death you will realize the truth. Whoa. Oh yeah, he is he's got a Titan armor. Running out of places to hide. Wow. Ouch. Is this it? Do we get him? Greedy. It's over. Do we get him? New Game Plus. Wow, what's the uh, epilogue? Never ask for this. <laughs> I don't know if we're ready for that one.
Monsanto CEO Nathaniel Brown took to the stage today to praise Interpol and Tarvis Security Services for thwarting what could have been a major terror attack during his safe harbor convention last week. Interpol has confirmed that a group of radical terrorists linked to the Augmented Rights Coalition wired the residential towers surrounding Apex Center with enough explosives to destroy two city blocks. As shocking as that fact turns out to be, Brown had only this controversial opinion to give. We must not make rash decisions based on fear, nor should we allow a vocal minority to dictate our future. The Human Restoration Act is a perversion of all the United Nations stands for. In time, I believe saner minds on the Security Council will prevail. Strong words from a man with an even stronger bank account. Let us see if his prediction proves true. This is Eliza Hey, are you even listening to this? We won! Did we? <laughs> we completely disrupted their plan! Marchenko, the orchid, the bombs... You've been under too long, man. Time to come up for air. Take a breath. Janus messaged me last night, said Brown's been lobbying like a champ. He and the people you saved know the act isn't a solution. Pikus will talk around it as long as they can, but that thing is finished. Janus always seems to have the inside track. Except when it really matters. Miller, right? I'm sorry, Adam. I really did think he was working for the Illuminati. For a while, we both did. By the time I realized he was innocent. We can't change the past. We have to keep going. What are you thinking? How many more plans do they have in motion? How many more soldiers like Marchenko are waiting for the call? <laughs> Don't call him a soldier. He was a thug, man. Soldiers have a code of honor. Soldiers follow orders, too. He was prepared to obey his, no matter the consequences. Sounds like you're sorry he's dead. He made his choice, I made mine. Regardless, we want the men behind him. Behind the Human Restoration Act. The ones still out there in the shadows. It's time for me to start pulling them into the light. Well, now we got names. Manderley and Page. The Collective won't stop until we bring these guys down. Yeah? Well, there's one more name I want to put a face to. Janus. So that's what you've been chewing on. Look, I'll try, Adam, but I already told you he doesn't like meetings that aren't on his terms. Then give him a choice. Either he sets up a meeting face to face, or I find him myself. I think it's high time we met the man behind the mask, Alex. Don't you? This report just in. Law enforcement officials in Prague have tracked down and captured the bomb maker whose deadly explosive devices claimed the lives of dozens of innocent travelers earlier this week. The woman, an ex-army demolition specialist named Alison Stanek, appears to be a religious fanatic and leader of the tech cult group, Church of the Machine God. Police arrested her and several of her followers inside the cult's headquarters, following an extensive investigation. If you ask me, folks, that is some very good news indeed. A coroner's report released in Prague today offers shocking new insight into the death of Dr. Talis Rucker, former leader of the Augmented Rights Coalition. Apparently, the primary cause of the doctor's death was the exceedingly high level of alcohol found in his system. No other toxins were present, nor were there signs of any suspicious activity. Sources close to Rucker tell me he had been struggling with alcoholism ever since becoming a public figure. I am sure I do not need to remind you folks that the organization he founded, the Augmented Rights Coalition, has been linked to last week's horrifying terror attack in London. It seems not so long ago that Dr. Talis Rucker was on this very program, trying to convince all of us that his Augmented Rights Coalition was a non-violent organization. Today, of course, we are all a little bit wiser. It did not take long for ARC to reveal its true colors once Dr. Rucker was dead. Since last week's attack, the United Nations has officially labeled ARC a terrorist organization. No! As we speak, brave state police officers in the Czech Republic are raiding ARC-controlled compounds inside the Udalek complex. 
here is an example of the defiance they are encountering. This... this is where you have it all wrong. Wrong! Ark was framed. You people, you don't see, you don't realize that Viktor Marchenko was not Ark. He was trying to kill Ark, kill the cause. But he has failed. We are strong, we are innocent, and we will not be used as pawns by rich, scared men who want to make us less than human. I am sorry, young man, but methinks thou doth protest too much. The Diwali criminal organization is under intense scrutiny this evening for their role in the London attack. Evidence uncovered by Interpol indicates that high-ranking members of the chapter in Prague supplied weapons and logistical support to ARC terrorists. Among those being sought for questioning is Otar Botkaveli, leader of the Diwali's Prague chapter. Sources close to Botkaveli tell me he has only recently assumed this role, and should not be held accountable for past mistakes. I do not know, folks. Is this really the face of a man we can trust? Join the online discussion and let us know what you think. News out of Paris today, where a sharp rise in illegal underground publications may have links to a prison escape recently orchestrated in Prague. Last week, Czech state police were holding members of the underground news group Samostat on charges of disturbing the peace, human trafficking, and media terrorism. The radicals escaped their holding cell, however, and are believed to have subsequently made their way deeper into Western Europe. Shortly after their escape, a radical publication called Silhouette began appearing throughout France. Has Samistat rebranded itself as Silhouette? I am sure you will agree with me on this one, folks. No matter what name these people go by, there is nothing more dangerous than the spread of false news. Turning <coughs> our attention now to a more colorful story. A recent incident inside an illegal underground drug laboratory has led authorities to the heart of Prague's Neon operation. According to sources familiar with the new drug, the dangers of Neon had more to do with illegal distribution methods and criminal ties than with consuming the drug itself. Make no mistake, folks. Neon is illegal, and the dismantling of this laboratory is good news for everyone. However, some government officials have hinted to me that the drug may have therapeutic <coughs> benefits, and if so, a government-approved version about that. of Neon could be made available to the public eventually. Further testing will be required, of course. So only time will tell. Wow. Trophy earned. We are human beings. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you very much for joining me in this whole entire episode uh, <laughs> game. It was a uh, it was it was a fantastic ride for me. I hope you guys enjoyed watching uh, <laughs> my bumbling through it. Uh, thank you and. Uh, uh, we had like 110 episodes of this. Thank you guys, uh, and I hope uh, you will uh, continue to follow my channel and uh, Because I will be ad adding more content to it uh, Okay, bye